AMD's new Threadripper CPUs are awesome little powerhouses that give you a bang for your buck. However, while building my new PC, I noticed that they don't have a lot of support in terms of CPU coolers that fit the TR4 mounting bracket. I bought my Master Liquid 240 based on the fact that it was Threadripper ready, only to find that it doesn't fit into the TR4 mount. So, for those of you in a similar position, here's a quick DIY way to get around this issue. When you open your Threadripper Supercool box, you're going to find the cooler mount below the CPU itself. You're going to want to make sure to take that out. Bring out your cooler. Obviously we can see that the issue here is that the tubes are getting in the way of what otherwise would be a nice fit. So get yourself a pencil and mark out exactly where the tubes will be on the mount itself. Give it a tiny bit of room, a millimeter or two is enough. Next what you're going to do is simply cut it out. Now you could use a hacksaw to cut it out, but I opted to use a disc grinder for convenience sake. Really though it comes down to whatever you have at your disposal. And before you go crazy about how this is a bad thing to do, keep in mind that all the cooler mount is, is a piece of metal that presses the cooler down on top of the CPU. And since we're only cutting out a tiny portion of it, it's still going to have more than enough structural rigidity to push the cooler down. Once you've cut it out, go ahead and do all the usual stuff. And simply screw shut the mount on top of the cooler and you'll be good to go. And yes, this works fine, in fact I'm editing on the same computer that I'm showing you guys in the video. Now go out there and save yourself some money. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit like, subscribe for more upcoming content, and share this video with your friends so that you can all save a little time and money building your shiny new PC.